Partnering with the second bomb wing leadership, we wanted to bring a B-52 out here to showcase not just the hardware, but the crew members to some of the acquisition professionals that are really charged with executing the biggest modernization in the buff history. Being able to see it in real life gives context to what we're doing. It helps us understand why it's important, you know, to put faces with the mission and the actual uh, item itself. It's really great. When we're putting on brand new engines onto this aircraft, the Rolls-Royce F-130s, putting in a new IESA radar, upgrading the entire comm suite for the, for the B-52, all of it is to get some familiarization and understanding of what's going on. Uh, for these professionals that are sitting here, Wright Patterson, that don't get the chance to interact with the crew nor the airplane on a day to day. You know, we have to build up that partnership. We work with the operational units to ensure we can understand task and purpose. In the acquisition world, we get our tasks through documents and requirements to understand what we need to do, but the purpose really comes from understanding what's going on in the jet talking with the uh, operators in the field and understanding how we can make this safe, affordable, and effective. So being able to actually see the plane, um, places where we get to upgrade and support um, our warfighter and effort in person has been really exciting. Um, and to keep it flying has been really cool, and to see it in person um, has just been a really neat experience. We're planning to keep this bomber effective through 2050 to fly alongside the B-21 not just to do the conventional missions that it's been doing uh, since 1960, but also to do those next generation standoff missions against our near peer adversaries. This aircraft has been a workhorse and is really the backbone of the history of the Air Force.